Watch and balance. Toddlers with mobility visual impairment learning to let go and walk. Independent walking is a sensory motor process, meaning it relies both on developing motor skills and developing sensory skills. Walking relies on developing balance and infants begin to experience standing balance using touch. For example, pulling to stand and cruising. Cruising is holding on to a couch or wall to walk. They are using their sense of touch for balance. Copy. Sighted toddlers transition to relying on vision for balance, evident in this little girl looking intently at the floor. Once a child lets go, vision takes over as the primary balance sense, and the ability to walk well in sighted toddlers is usually completed by 18 months. Walking well means they use a narrow base of support, and they walk a lot. Yeah, we'll Toddlers here. who are blind and mobility visually impaired cannot rely on vision for balance. They continue to rely on touch or haptic yeah. feedback for balance. Without an effective mobility tool to provide them movable haptic balance, blind toddlers and toddlers with mobility visual impairments are not able to progress to the 18 month milestone. Walks well. They do not have the visual ability needed to let go for balance. They continue to use the best sense a blind or mobility visually impaired child has, touch. Holding a hand, holding a wall, holding a chair, pushing a chair are all forms of seeking balance to remain standing and explore. The difficulty is that these rudimentary methods of balance limit their ability to explore beyond hand's reach. Although they can be prompted to try walking without balance support, in their natural state they return to what they need, haptic feedback for balance. Timothy, come here. Good job, Troy. Come here. <laughs> Toddlers who are blind and mobility visually impaired adapt to their lack of vision for balance by maintaining contact with walls, floors, furniture, and people. They don't understand that this strategy causes them delayed concept, language, and social skill development. We now understand that holding on is the blind and mobility visually impaired child's adaptation to not having vision for balance. So there is a need for parents and educators to provide toddlers who are blind and mobility visually impaired with a substitute. Some have tried push toys. They are awkward and they are easy to let go of and easy to use for stimming. You're doing great, honey. I like Kaya. You're in the Kaya right now, right? Mm -hmm. A pediatric bell cane is a moving source of haptic feedback that enables blind toddlers to achieve their independent walking milestones when they are allowed to wear the bell cane most of the day. Yeah, yeah. Let's do 
Come on this way, buddy. Good job. Good job, buddy. Your, your cane is on the chair. You'll have to lift it a bit and pick it up. Can you lift it up higher? Your cane, my love. Are you lifting it up just so you can show us you know it's supposed to be down? Well, because it was stuck on the chair. Oh, it was stuck, it yeah. Up. So he showed me how to do it. Water. Are you playing in the water? For more information, go to safetitles.org. Share and subscribe. And please donate to our mission. safetitles.org slash donate. Safe Toddles, our mission is to provide blind toddlers with a solution for walking independently with safety.